welcome to this week's fibro section what was that i just saw something fly across the room then don't know what that was um this week is going to be now i've tried to find out how to pronounce this but it's called allodynia have you heard of that allodynia so it's all about allodynia and i will explain more as we go along so let's get out the trusted notepad and I'm going to try and hold my notepad sort of here or even here so I'm not looking down I'm just looking at the the writing but hopefully that won't affect the lighting that rhymes lighting writing get on with it Nicola for a clause thingy this is all research <laughs> don't shoot the messenger blah 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 let's get on with it allodynia Allodynia is an unusual symptom that can result from severe nerve related conditions. When you're experiencing it, you feel pain from stimuli that you don't normally that doesn't normally cause pain. For example, lightly touching your skin or brushing your hair might feel painful. So it's basically a sensitivity to touch. That's what allodynia is. What does it feel like? So the main symptom of allodynia is pain from non-painful stimuli. Some people may experience severe pain even from a few hairs brushing against their skin. Symptoms can be mild to severe. Some people may feel a burning sensation while others feel an ache or squeezing pain. Anyone who has had bad sunburn has an idea of how painful even light touch can be. When the skin is sensitized, wearing a shirt or taking a shower can be very painful. Symptoms. Tactile allodynia can range from mild to severe. It can be all over the body or only in certain areas. It can be constant or come and go with symptom flares. Sometimes allodynia may be set off by a trigger such as a scratching or stepping on something sharp. Allodynia comes in two forms. Mechanical allodynia, which is associated with physical stimuli, and thermal allodynia, triggered by changes in temperature. Common complaints from people with tactile allodynia include burning pain from waistbands, bra straps, socks, and other pieces of constrictive clothing, which is quite a common one, I think, with fibro. You know, like if you have, I've, I've found that bras are really, you know, not comfortable, but I've gone wireless now in my bras and that's made a huge difference and I've just ordered another bra that's almost like a crop top so things like that help but I definitely wear soft clothing I can't have anything scratchy once I owned a dress and it was just far too scratchy on my skin so I had to get rid of it I have to have everything really soft and light and gentle pain from tags in shirts or stitching on clothing is another one Pain from fabrics, bed sheets, towels or blankets that other people find soft. You might not find them soft. Pain when rubbing against objects, pain with hugging or even a firm handshake. I've had before, um, Mark has not on purposely hurt me in any way, shape or form, but he's gone to sort of touch, like touch me on the shoulder or he's come up behind and touch my shoulders and my shoulders are that's a quite a sensitive area with fibro and I've like oh it's just been too painful and but you know, I would never say because I didn't want to hurt his feelings and think that he'd hurt me you know pain when grabbing something cold from the refrigerator or freezer and pain when stepping out into extreme cold allodynia and fibromyalgia Tactile allodynia is one of the characteristic symptoms of fibromyalgia. That's the one we've just talked about. It is a neurological condition in which pain, sometimes severe, can occur with a simple touch. For reasons not entirely clear, the body perceives pain to otherwise harmless physical stimuli. Fibromyalgia involves multiple pain types including hyperalgesia, the over amplification of pain, and parathesia, abnormal sensations like burning or tingling in the absence of stimuli. Sorry if this is darkening the picture here with my notepad, but I'm just trying to do it so I don't 
you know, look down, there's a dog barking. Tactile allodynia is a form of pain that arises from a malfunction of specialised nerves called nociceptors. I think that's how it's said. Nociceptors? Nociceptors? The job of nociceptors is to sense information about things in your environment. Oh, Evie's joining in now. Such as temperature, pressure and conditions that cause you harm at the skin level. With fibromyalgia, nociceptors will start to perceive normal sensations as being painful. Researchers believe that this is the result of central sensitisation rather than, being, than pain being triggered locally in the peripheral nervous system. Fibro pain is caused by an overall amplification of pain in the central nervous system. This is all very technical, I know, but I'm just giving you the facts. <laughs> We'll come on to the helpful bit in a minute. <laughs> Migraines. Migraines can cause debilitating head pain, but a headache is often not the only symptom. Migraines can also cause additional symptoms such as nausea and sensitivity to sound and light. Up to 80% of people in America, in a poll, also experienced allodynia during a migraine. It is more common in people who have migraines with aura, because I did ask Holly, because Holly suffers from chronic migraine disorder if you don't know and I asked her if she suffers with allodynia and explained what it was and she said no but she doesn't get aura with her migraine so that could prove the point couldn't it once the headache goes away usually the allodynia eases up but some people still suffer allodynia after the migraine has gone diabetes over time diabetes can cause damage to nerves increasing the likelihood that a person will develop allodynia Nerve growth factor is essential to the nervous system and some experts have suggested that diabetes can lower these levels. Treatment. Any treatments that lessen your fibromyalgia symptoms can help alleviate symptoms of tactile allodynia. Treatment options include, oh my goodness, I'm not even gonna try and say that word, try, I will, tricyclic, tricyclic antidepressants. Seizure drugs like Lyrica, which is pregabalin, and gabapentin, both didn't agree with me, but I know they've worked for other people. Topical lidocaine. Some people also get relief from topical pain creams, including Tiger Balm, Aspicream, Biofreeze, and Capsaicin, containing ointments and patches. You may also want to identify and avoid triggers that in initiate allodynia flares. Talk to your GP and ask if they know of anything which would help you. I must admit, I mean, I, I, like I said previously, I do suffer with allodynia as a part of fibromyalgia and it's sensitivity to touch, to clothes, to bra straps, to labels, all of that, all of that I suffer with. I don't suffer with it when I brush my hair so that side of it I don't find. I know a lot of people feel like when they brush their hair it just feels like their head's on fire. Um, but that, luckily I don't get that. Um, everybody's different anyway, aren't they? So, but my, I've noticed that my allodynia has improved since I've been on the nortriptyline. So it's still there, but it's improved. Um, so medication does does help. I find it, my allodynia also gets worse during flare-ups, especially like touch and things like that. Um, and obviously skin sensitivity has been such an issue for me, especially to try to shave my legs, for example. I find shaving my legs really painful, but I've overcome that by I put like E45 cream on before I shave them. And then you don't get that dragging of the razor so there are options which can help. But to sum up, I feel this is not, an, well it's not a nice symptom is it to handle, but with the right medication for your fibro and trying the right creams, it could help. Like now, like I said before, when I show my legs Z45, it just finds it and I wear soft clothes. I wear clothes that are comfortable for me. I guess if you were, had problems with brushing your hair, it would be finding the correct brush that didn't hurt, um, or not brushing from your scalp 
as much but brushing and holding your hair if it's longer I think finding a shampoo that helps your your scalp as well which I will go through another time because that's another fibro section I want to cover is about lumps and bumps so I'll cover that in another one um by the way today I am using Poppy's camera Poppy's just got a new camera and she's allowed me to use it because my camera has gone off to be repaired because as you probably have seen it's not focusing as it had a little accident so Poppy's just biked off now to send it in for repair for me so I'm really nervous because it's like my expensive camera's going in the post and I really don't want it to but anyway so yeah Poppy lent me her camera so I cannot see myself in this one because it's not a flip camera I can just look into the the lens so I hope this is all you know been okay for you I hope you've learned something today maybe I hope you've had some help today out of what I've said I think the other option I would give as well is if you belong to Twitter or a Facebook site or anywhere where you have support groups is ask them what they do and also comment below what you do to help your allodynia if you suffer with allodynia you know what do you do the same as me have soft things I mean I have I love soft blankets and things like that um, and I can't bear socks on after a while I have to just throw them off so things like that and I'd be interested to see what you do to to help you, your allodynia I hope I've said all the things right there were probably a few things that I've <laughs> missed <laughs> but do you find that with like fibro fog and everything I've I get very tongue-tied which you've probably noticed from my vlogs but yeah it's another thing <laughs> another section <laughs> there's so many anyway if you've enjoyed this video this week give it a big thumbs up do all the usual garb subscribe for future videos and I will see you all on Saturday for the weekly obviously I will try and use this camera as much as I can but it's Poppy's new one so I will be filming a lot on my phone and it might not be the best quality so just bear with me okay it's better having a video than nothing at all isn't it see you all later love you lots bye